Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's Diane in the morning here on the Home Business Radio Network, where we have positive, powered radio. Are you guys up? Are you Adam? Are you ready? Are you steady? <laughs> guys, I got a big show for you today. I got a lot to talk about. I'm going to talk about, well, first of all, what I want to do, I know it's it's the morning, and I know the sun is shining, and I know, uh, you know, it may not be the right time for this, but I want to get a little, I want to get a little romantic. <laughs> I want to talk about love. It is February. It's the month of love, and everybody's eyes and thoughts turn to, you know, flowers and candles and chocolates and Valentine's Day and all that good stuff. But that's not the kind of love that we're going to get into today. I want to talk about doing what you love, finding what you love, pursuing what you love, and how that makes all the difference in the world in your home business. Um, You know, when I started my home business, um, I was in love in love, in love, in love with the idea of the freedom of it. And I was in love with the idea of getting my health back on track. And I was in love with the idea of fixing up my finances. So I had a lot of enthusiasm about it. I loved the meetings. I loved the calls. Um, you know, it just it just jacked me up. I don't know about you guys, but uh, chances are if you're listening to the, the radio network, chances are if you're plugged in here, you kind of love, okay, you love Uh, the industry and business and all this other good stuff. But as you go along, what happens is you kind of get used to stuff. Um, You know, it's like anything. You you know, I've been married for 22 years. I'm kind of used to my husband. Um, I've been living in the same house for, I don't know how many years, 14, 15 years or whatever. I'm kind of used to my house. When you're with the same company, you get used to the policies and procedures and what's going to go on. And then what starts to happen is that that excitement that you had at the beginning because you didn't know what was coming next starts to wane. And that's when we really, really have to go to work. So I want to talk today with you, you know, intimately. When we do the morning show, you know, we're broadcasting around the world. But I really want you to recognize that I'm talking to you. There's thousands of people listening. And I'm talking to every single one of them. But most importantly, I'm talking to you. So I hope you have your notebook ready. I hope you always have a notebook for the Home Business Radio Network um, and maybe even a special notebook even for my shows. You know, and by the way, for those of you that don't know, this is the morning show, Diane in the Morning, coming to you live every day of the week. And then uh, we also have the evening show. Mornings I do a little more, more motivation and, you know, jacking you up for the day to get going. And then in the evening I talk hardcore marketing. So check your schedule over at homebusinessradionetwork.com. You'll find the schedule there when the shows are playing. But uh, let's get ready. Write down in big letters, love, L-O-V-E, love, amor, okay? And I want you to write down right now, real quick, I want you to write down everything that you love about your business, about the industry. Just just start barreling them. Don't think about them, right? I love, I love the calls. I love the meeting. I love the checks. I love, you know, my upline, whoever I work with. Um, I love XYZ product. Okay, just write them down. Write them down. Write them down. Let me give you a minute. Do, 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 do. Now, you certainly can do this after the show is over while you're listening to some of our incredible music. But I want you to start to read really recognize and have some gratitude for the things that you love. And now we're going to do the hard part. Okay. I want you, most of the people that I meet, I counsel, I work with, um, I train up, of course, and then there's people that are on my team. Um, Their biggest problem in the world, they love all this stuff, but they tend to diminish themselves. Are you one of those people? Do you put yourself down? Do you think you're not enough? I'm here to tell you today, this morning, right here, right now, that you are enough. If a dumpy little housewife like me who who had no clue what she was doing uh, when she started could hit the top of the industry, I'm telling you, uh, you can. You know, even if you don't want to go to the moon, can you make an extra 500, 1,000? Absolutely, I believe in that 100%. 
So what we're going to do now is a quick little exercise. And this one might be challenging for you. I hope it's not, but I run into very few people. I do this at my, my live seminars, um, and they have a hard time. I want you right now to write down ten things you love about yourself. Okay, go ahead and write down number one. Okay, I don't care if it's your big toe at this point. We just got to move you down the road to getting to really love, love, love who you are. So write down number one. Write it down. Go ahead. What's something you love? Okay, number two. Go ahead. Next thing. Write down. What do you love about yourself? And guys, you can get into your personal attributes, but I'm talking about skills, the way you talk, the way you handle people, all that stuff. What are you good at? Uh, I don't care if you're a good typist. You know, I'm a terrible typist, but whatever you're good at, write these down. Up to number three, number four, number five, write them down. Now, here's where it gets tough when you get into number six, number seven, and number eight. And then it gets really tough because coming up with 9 and 10 for most people is an outrageous challenge. But if we don't spend today, my friend, if we don't spend today figuring out what do I love about my business? What is it that I love about the business that I have now and the business that I'm about to have in the near future? What I'm building, the legacy that I'm building for my family. What do I love about the idea of it? Um, You want to keep a notebook And be writing these things down. Every time something good happens, write down, I love that about my business. And the same thing with you. Uh, You do something, you just finished up a conference call, you did your first conference call all on your own, and, and you sounded good, and you know you did. Write down, I love the way I sound on a conference call. You wrote a good email. You just did a great presentation. I love my presentation style. I want you to compile these lists until you have like at least a whole page filled, if not more. Because there are going to be days. I hope today's not one of them, but they're going to come sooner or later. I'll give you a little like motherly advice. There are going to be days where it's just rough, where it's just tough. Now, there are going to be days where you're flying like you're on, you know, you're on drugs. You feel so good. You know, you just got a new member of the team or you just got an award or you just got a bonus check you just qualified for the company trip or the company car whatever your company has you're going to feel like a million bucks but I promise you there's going to be days where you feel crummy there's going to be days where you feel bad and it's on those days it's on those days that you need this list Because it's so easy to focus on what's wrong with our business or what's wrong with ourselves. It's so easy to focus on when we screwed up. It's so easy to focus on when something didn't happen the way you wanted. Your people didn't show up. Your prospect didn't sign. A guy signed up and then he canceled, you know, whatever it may be. Um, You know, I don't do fluff. I do reality. Stuff happens in businesses, guys. If you owned a store, people would return stuff. If you owned a store, you know, people would sometimes complain. They didn't like the, you know, whatever they bought. They didn't, you know, this thing wasn't right. You, You know, go down to Walmart any given day. There's a line of people returning something and some of them have complaints that's what business is it's nothing wrong with that that's just kind of normal but when we emotionally get overwhelmed by that stuff the girl at the counter at walmart when somebody comes in with a return she doesn't go oh my god they're returning the sweater they bought oh my god they didn't like it you know she she has no emotion about it But in our home businesses, especially because most of us have never had a home business before, I didn't before I got into all this, um, we tend to hang emotion on it. And we tend to hang a lot of emotion on our own performance. And you've always heard the old things, you know, I don't know the statistics, I'm not really a sports fan, but I guess Babe Ruth, you know, hit the most home runs or something or had the best batting average, or he he, he hit the most home runs, but his batting average was kind of crummy. I don't know the statistics, some sports Sports fan will write me. Hey guys, by the way, you can hit me up at Twitter, twitter.com 
forward slash Diane Hockman. It's H-O-C-H-M-A-N. I'll tell you other ways to contact me. Write me. Let me know what's going on with you. But, you know, if you have a comment on today's show, definitely let me know. Um, maybe you know that actual statistic. But in sports, um, they don't hang on, you know, if, if you were to look at every shot a basketball player took. He does not roll up in a ball on the court and, and put his thumb in his mouth and cry because he missed a shot. He just takes another. So, let's get back to love. When you are feeling down, that's when this list is so important. What do I absolutely love and adore about my business? And what do I absolutely love and adore about myself? How I speak, how I walk, how I talk. What is it that drives me and moves me and excites me? Okay, you might want another list. What do I love about my life right now? And what do I love about the life I'm about to have? Okay, I can't even, I I couldn't even imagine when I began what's happened to me. I couldn't even, I, I couldn't see it. I couldn't imagine it. I just, I just moved forward, and then I'd see the next step, and I'd see the next step. But I have lists, and I could show them to you. If you ever come out to one of my seminars or something, ask me. You know, I'll pull out my old journals. I'll show you my journals from 2000, 2001, and my lists of, of things I loved and things I was hoping for. And I giggle now because I asked for so little compared to what's possible. But we can only ask for that which we see. Loving your business, loving what you're doing, loving your products, loving yourself, loving your prospects. Guys, I love the I love the ones that say no just as much as I love the ones that say yes. Maybe that's why I've, I, I'm, I'm well known because um, – I'm a firm believer that each person has to find the right place for them, the right products for them, the right business for them. So I don't, I don't feel rejection when somebody looks at a presentation and goes, this isn't for me. I just love these guys. I want them to find where they're going. Um, you know, I love my colleagues, um, so many of them. Sometimes I disagree with them. You know, they have different marketing styles or different philosophies, but I have just a huge amount of love and respect for everybody. Um, and I just run around all the time like a goofy little girl um, making lists of what I can love today instead of making lists in my mind about what's wrong today. And that's it. That's my big, you know, tip and ball of wonder and advice for you. You know, we're going to be together, you know, every day. I'm hoping you come down every day, catch the show every day. Um, and I'm going to be sharing with you from the depths of my soul the things that I have used to pull myself through over 12 years, mentally, mentally, the things that I've done to get me to where I am today. And um, I hope you take some of these things to heart. I hope you do. Guys, what I want you to do today is grab a pen and jot down. My site is dianehockman.com. It's H-O-C-H-M-A-N. I want you to visit me, uh, leave some comments on some of the posts. There's just tons of great training there. There's, there's like six years worth of content there. And I also want you to make sure you put in your name and email um, over there and, and get on my list so that I can send you out good stuff. Um, you know, you can you can unsubscribe at any time if you if it doesn't turn you on. And remember, I'm not going to feel too bad if it's not for you. But I want you to give it a whirl, and I want you to start communicating with me about what it is that I can talk about that would help motivate you and jack you up in the morning. What is it that I can share with you out of my experience that will help you do what you need to do? each and every single day to get to where you want to go. Again, this has been Diane in the Morning here on the Home Business Radio Network where we have positive, powered radio. We'll see you next time. Take care.